Hey guys, today we're making the most delicious chocolate slice cake ever. It's so yummy and the whipped cream just makes it super delicious. It's easy to make and it's a perfect dessert for any time. As always, the full recipe will be in the description box below. And don't forget to give this video a giant thumbs up if you enjoy. Also, subscribe for more videos like these. The cake recipe in this chocolate cake is the same as my chocolate cake recipe. So if you want the recipe, it will be in the description off. box. With two bowls, and you're going to separate your egg yolks and egg whites. And do this with all your eggs. Once you're done separating them, then you can set the egg yolks to the side and to the egg whites, you're going to add in a pinch of bicarb. And then just whip this with your electric mixer until it reaches stiff peaks. This should take a few minutes. It will become nice and stiff like this. Then you can stop beating. And then you can set your egg whites to the side. Into your egg yolk bowl. You're going to add in your sugar. Flour. your warm water, the vanilla, and lastly the oil. And then you want to set that to the side and then to a separate bowl or cup you're going to make your cocoa powder paste. For that you're going to add in your cocoa powder to your cup and then you're going to add in your boiling water. Make sure your water is hot for this. And then just mix this until it becomes a nice smooth paste. If you do need a little more water, you can add it in. And it should become a nice paste like this. Once that's done, then you're going to add in your paste that you've made just now to your egg yolk bowl. And then with the same beaters, you want to beat this until it becomes nice and light and fluffy. It will take around 10 minutes and you'll be able to see how light and fluffy it becomes. You can see the change of color and it's becoming nice and light like this. Now this is very important as it adds in lots of air into your cake. Once you're done beating it, then you can add in, then you can scrape down the sides of your bowl to make sure that everything is well combined. And then just beat that once again to make sure it's all well combined. Next. You want to add in your baking powder. And then just mix this until it's well combined. Once 
once you're done mixing that then you're going to add in your egg whites to your bowl and you can add in all of them at once and then you're going to start to fold this in gently and keep mixing it until you can't see any white. Make sure you're very gentle with this and it should become a nice smooth batter like this. Once your batter is done, then you can set that to the side and you want to prepare your baking tray. Here I've got my tray with a piece of baking paper on it and it's really important and then spray it with a bit of non-stick spray and then you want to pour all of your batter right onto the tray like this now the batter is not too thick so it's easy to pour it all into your tray and then with your spatula you want to start smoothing it out and spreading it all over the tray. Make sure you get it in all the corners as well. And you can give the tray a little bit of a shake just to make sure everything is well spread. And continue doing this until it's nice and level. Next, you want to bake this in your oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 13 to 15 minutes. The time will vary depending on your oven, so keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't burn. And just see how beautifully that rises in the oven. Once it's all baked, then you can take it out of the oven and let it cool down completely in your tray. Once it's cooled, then run a knife along the edges and then flip it upside down onto a board. And then you can peel away the baking paper. Once that's done, then you want to start cutting your cake in thirds, lengthwise, and then just slice it with your ruler and a sharp knife like this. And if you want to make this lovely ganache to pipe over the top, then for that just heat some cream in a pot until it comes to a boil. To a separate bowl, add in your chocolate and then once the cream is boiling, just pour it right over your chocolate and let it sit for about 5 minutes and then give it a good whisk and it should become a ganache and then set that to the side. Now I have used a ganache for the base layer but I do not recommend. I will tell you why in just a moment. For the whipped cream, you're going to add the stabilizer to your cold cream and it is sweet so depending on your taste, you can add in some icing sugar as well if you like. Once that's all in your bowl, then you're going to take your electric mixer and whip this until it reaches nice stiff peaks. And then just place it into a piping bag like this and then set to the side for the first layer I have piped on some ganache but I do not recommend you do this because the ganache is quite runny and it will make your cake leak a bit with the ganache I do recommend that you use whipped cream for both layers and I, when I was testing the recipe then I found that whipped cream works the best for both layers. 
once your first filling layer is on then you can place a second layer of cake over the top and just lift it gently with a flat surface like a knife and then gently lower it onto your cake fill in and then press it gently if you want so that it stays nicely in shape next Next, you're going to take your whipping cream that you've placed into a piping bag and just snip the tip like this and then just pipe it right onto your second layer of cake like this. And just look at how satisfying that is. Once all your cream is piped, Then you can place your last layer of cake over the top very gently and again you can press down just to make it level and shape nicely. Lastly you want to slice this into pieces with a sharp knife. And you can measure it if you like. And that's how beautiful it looks on the inside. And repeat with all the rest of the cake. For the ganache that we've made earlier, you can just place it into a piping bag and then pipe it onto your cake like this. And it should drip down and give it a nice look, which is totally optional. And that's it. That's how easy and delicious it is to make this amazing cake. It's a really yummy chocolate slice cake and you definitely won't go wrong. It's super delicious with the whipped cream and it's just a lovely dessert. And if you follow the recipe, it's super easy to make. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a giant thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday. I'll see you in my next video.